What's going on guys, I'm with Moose, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to beat solo challenges very easily in Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Now there's no surefire way to beat solos easily, but these tips are going to help you win very quickly and most of the time as well. Obviously in solos you guys don't really want to be in there for too long, you don't want to be messing around, throwing up streaks every single play, and don't want to be scoring every play, you want to milk the clock as much as you can, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to do that in this video. So first up, we have get a fast running back. You guys are going to see here, Dree Archer, 64 overall running back. You get him for playing the first game of the NFL journey, so definitely play that. It's against the Patriots, um, kind of recreating Super Bowl uh, 49, that situation. But get this Dree Archer. He has 96 speed along with 95 Excel, 92 agility, and 94 juke move. He is a monster in solo challenges, run with outside runs, all this kind of stuff. And I'll break down some run plays that you guys can use later on. But Dre Archer, a great running back to use starting off. But um, honestly, any fast running back will do. They don't have to be 96 speed. 92 speed's fine. 93, something like that. But I would recommend above 90 speed uh, to play in solos, and you'll be very set to go. The next tip that I have is going to help you milk the clock a lot. I would say set your solos to accelerated clock. So once you hit ready on this screen, you're going to be taken to the next screen, which will give you a few options with your play call, with your clock, stuff like that. So you can do whatever you want with all this other stuff, but with play clock or an, or an Excel clock and play clock remaining, you want to keep Excel clock on. Sometimes it'll be switched off, sometimes it'll be on, but at like 25 seconds or something. You want to make sure that's on 10 seconds. That's going to give you the least amount of time in the game. That's going to make sure whenever the computer runs a play, the play clock is going to drop down to 10 seconds, and so is the game clock when the clock is running. So definitely do that. And also, once you're in the game, make sure you click LB or L1 on PS4 twice and you'll be you'll turn on uh, chew clock and that'll really milk the clock a lot and you'll be, get out of solos extremely quickly the third tip I have is actually uh, giving you guys some tips on what run plays to run because I know some people don't exactly know which ones are the best I would say there's a few great ones one being the 01 trap another being halfback dive that's a great one to use if you guys want to break it outside a little bit with a fast running back you have the strong power or the halfback counter both are uh, very, very strong like they were last year. You can find them in a lot of different playbooks, but I would highly recommend trying to use 0-1 Trap almost every single play. It's going to dominate for you guys and really going to get like 5-6 yards every single time, which over time is going to build up a lot of uh, yards and eventually points for you guys in solos, and it'll also keep the clock moving as well. Inevitably, you guys are going to get into some third down situations or some long passing down situations. It, it'll happen. Uh, not every solo is the easiest thing in the world. So for situations like that, I recommend a few different uh, a few different pass plays. One being a halfback screen, especially if you have a very fast running back like Dre Archer. They can get out of there very quickly and use the rat catch or the RAC catch using the X button on Xbox One or the square button on PS4 and you'll be able to easily get down the field on that kind of play. Another great one is four verticals. Fantastic play to the uh, to the slot receiver or the tight end. Both routes are very, very good against the computer, but I would recommend not not using that play more than maybe once or twice a solo. And then finally, if you need some short yardage on like third and three, third and four, but don't feel comfortable in picking up the yardage with your running back, you can run drag routes on uh, mesh plays, stuff like that. You can go to those by going to concept and then medium pass and picking mesh plays. So um, those are all very, very good to get first downs, throwing the ball, and if you need to, uh, those are great ones to go to. Now that's on the offensive side of the ball. On defense, I would highly recommend doing a few different things. One is on first down, run cover two man. Um, this is going to allow you to actually keep up uh, with any kind of passing play they're going to run or uh, running play. You usually will be able to bring them down pretty easily. And on other downs, I would use cover three, to be honest. Uh, you can spread your defensive line to negate the outside run a little bit. That The way you do that is pressing LB or L1 um, if you're on PS4, and then you press up on the left stick. So uh, pretty easy to do that, and that decreases your chances of outside runs like I mentioned. Also, I would recommend using a, def a defensive lineman. I know it's not the best way to get used to playing Madden, but it's extremely easy in solo challenges, and if you are struggling getting pressure on the QB, that's a great way to do it. You'll easily be able to get around uh, almost any offensive lineman and get sacks or force bad throws. Um, and I would say using a linebacker or safety is kind of pointless to be honest because a lot of the time the computer does not even throw to a receiver if you're covering him with your user. User picks in solos are very, very rare, so I highly recommend using a defensive lineman in solo challenges. Finally, the last tip I have, at least for gameplay, is try to score touchdowns but take field goals if necessary. Uh, it's really no big deal to take a field goal on a solo. You don't need to go for it on fourth and five from the five-yard line. You don't need to do that. Field goals are just fine in solos. As long as you're burning the clock, you're going to be good. The computer's not great at scoring TDs. They will get some field goals here and there, but they really aren't going to score very many touchdowns. So I highly recommend kicking field goals when you have the opportunity, despite the urge, the temptation to go for a TD. 
take your field goal if you need to, and you'll be good to go in solos. So that will do it for my tips on how to beat solo challenges easily. It pretty much boils down to milking the clock as much as possible and running the ball until you cannot do so. Uh, if you guys can run a ball the entire game, you know, run 10 run plays, win the game like that, you can probably get out of a solo in 5 to 10 minutes and you'll be getting your coins and you'll be moving up very, very quickly. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. And if it, if it helped you out and you uh, did some better stuff in some solo challenges, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.